channel blur, channel blur. Apple, why is there no standard channel blur in the latest version of Final Cut? What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I have a new effect for you. Apple includes channel blur in the latest version of Final Cut Pro but it's only for 360 video, I don't understand that. So unless you have motion, there's no other way to get channel blur into Final Cut Pro. So I've made a plugin which allows you to do so. So this effect is good for a wide range of uses. Maybe you have a little bit of noise because the blue channel really retains a lot of noise in footage and you want to blur that down a little bit and try to get rid of the noise. Or maybe you have some aliasing or banding issues uh, which can be called more, more, I don't even know how to pronounce it, uh, but certain footage you can fix banding and aliasing issues using channel blur. There's also some really cool ways that you can use the channel blur effect to kind of bump up your footage and make it a little bit more spicy, add some glow to a specific channel. So it's a good tool to have in your toolbox for those specific times that you may need it. So as always, once you download your file, you're going to head over to your movies folder and then motion templates. And because this is an effect, we're gonna open up our effects folder. And then inside of that, we're gonna drag and drop our channel blur, which as you can see, I already have it here. Once you do that, restart Final Cut Pro. So now we're here in Final Cut Pro. I pulled in some sample clips here just for the demo. And we're gonna head over to your effects browser. And inside effects, you're gonna head down to custom. And then in custom, you're gonna see we have the channel blur. I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna drag it on top of my footage. And then we're gonna head over to our inspector window and you'll see we have our channel blur settings and these are all the options. We have our blur amount, which you can crank up and down and you can see it change there. And then underneath that we have all our channels. So we have our red channel, our green, our blue, and our alpha. The alpha is more of a transparent or opacity channel. So if you're layering, this is one of the tools you can use to have a better blend. And then we have horizontal and vertical blur. So basically you're just gonna choose which color channel you want to edit. So I wanna edit the blue channel. So I'm gonna uncheck the green and the red and the alpha and watch what happens when I crank this up. You'll see the blue channel gets very blurry. And the same goes if I wanna edit the green channel. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. Leave a comment down below if you want me to make anything specific. And don't forget to subscribe because I got new videos and effects and plugins and transitions and you name it coming out weekly. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. See ya.